My name is Outsider2522 and welcome to another Eidolon video. Today we're going to be looking at a part of the latest update in the Platinum Statues. How to get them, what they do, and maybe a little tip as to what you might want to do with that questline. Let's talk about it. Okay, platinum statues, how do you unlock them? So, there's a new NPC being added to the Flambe um, map on World 4 called the Monolith. He has three quests that I'm aware of. The first quest is going to ask you to get your statue levels up to a level 250 and bring him 17 unique statues. This is quite quick and easy to do if you're up to, you know, World 5, World 4, that sort of area. Um, if not, you need to do some statue grinding. If you need to do that, I have a video that will explain exactly how to do it. Okay, now for this you get basic rewards, things like Divinity Pearls, nothing too exciting. The second quest is where things get exciting. Now, off the back of this you're going to get the, the um, Platinum Sculpting Kit that will let you upgrade the Statue Man in the first world to Platinum. This quest makes you, means you have to get 20,000 power statues. Now, this is going to involve you farming board beans in World 1. I say board beans, you want to do this as efficiently as possible to start unlocking platinum statues. Board beans is the quickest place to go to. You're going to want to use a D, uh, Divine Knight. You're going to want as much um, crystal spawn a chance as possible. And you're going to want as high a drop rate. Again, it was in a previous video, so I won't go into that too much. Now you've got your 20,000. This took me 10 hours to do, by the way, but some people can do it in a couple of hours, depending on how far, again, you're, you are in the game and your stats. So this could be a bit of a grind. Little thing to mention for all you AFK players, you will have to do this actively. So the best thing to do, in my opinion, is basically disable all other loot, unless you've got a huge carry capacity, and just farm it overnight. Leave your phone, PC, whatever it may be, farming overnight, and come back in the morning, and you will have cleared the majority of the statues. Lovely. So, the third quest, which is where things get a bit, excite, a, bit a little bit more um, interesting. So, one of the statues is really, really hard to get is the Kachow statue. You mainly get it from Picnic Starway, the repeatable quest line. When you complete the third quest for the monolith, which is to collect 100,000 statues manually, it says manually, but auto loot does work. And the reason you have to do well, it says manually is because you can't just bring 100,000 statues out of your bank into your into your um, inventory and it works. So you will have to farm 100,000. This will give you 10,000 Kapow statues. It will also give you 10,000 EXP statues. Now, the nice thing with this is if you clear this quest on two people and save your statues, you now have a platinum Kapow statue. Again, these statues are quite rare to come by. You only get them from Picnic Starway. So the fact you can upgrade to Platinum by doing it on two two characters and you've got 10 in total means that you can get the Platinum. Okay, that's the little tip I'm throwing out there. Now, my, why might all you want Platinum statues? Well, they give you two benefits. And this is why it's kind of useful to get them as quick as possible. However, you'll have to figure out the trade-off for yourself. There's got to be a sweet pot spot where you will get bigger gains from making the statues platinum than the stats you will get that will help you kill the statue. So you may need to, if you're early game, increase your power statues to begin with, just do enough damage to get more statues. But once you can get it up to platinum, what you have to do, and be careful on this, because I've seen people use the auto deposit statues feature and waste statues, is you bring a stack of exactly 20,000 statues from your bank. Nice that Lava put something in there that allows us to um, remove exact amounts. And you will go in front of the statue, you will drop it. What will happen is the statue will unlock that particular statue as a platinum. Okay. Now while you're doing the power statues one, when you drop the, um, the first chisel that you're going to get from Monolith, it will already unlock platinum for power statues, so it's the equivalent of getting 20,000. Okay? So you don't lose those statues. You'll most likely also have other statues that you can upgrade to platinum from World 1 whilst doing that. When you drop them in front and you get the upgrade, what the upgrade does is every time you deposit a statue going forward, 
you get an extra 10% added on top. If you stack this with vials, uh, for myself, I get 100% extra of statues. So I now get 220% statues. So 2.2 times for every single statue that I deposit. Amazing. Okay. But that's not all where it ends. The stat buff you get from the statue gets doubled. So, if before, for example, you had a base damage increase of 1,000 points, once you make that statue into platinum, you've now got a base damage increase of 2,000 points. So, it's double dipped. You're going to get bigger gains, you're going to get more gains, which means you really want to upgrade these as quickly as possible. Now, where are the best maps to farm statues? World 1, you're going to be doing board beans, as I said earlier. World 2, you're going to be doing um, sand castles, most likely. Some people like to do uh, Tysons, but I stick to sand castles. World 3, you're going to be doing uh, the rams, so dedicated rams. World 4, you're doing clammies. And world five, you're most likely going to do citringes or worms. Okay, I do citringes. They're actually, I find, a higher kill per hour. However, worms do have a much better drop, you know, in terms of cash and things like that. So there's kind of a trade-off between the two. That's what you're going to need to do. Go farm those statues, make him platinum, get those bigger gains. If you found this information useful in any way, shape, or form, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, you've been amazing. Take care.